Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll get more great videos like this. So today we're going to be making a road, a simple road system. Um, let's just turn this on so you can see what is going on. Um, so let's start with a plane and we are going to have the road is going to be or our road this road here is going to be um, 5.5 meters wide and along the X so just going to put it up to around 10 meters okay and we're going to the edit mode and then this edge hit number two for the edges and this edge and then we're going to extrude on the z by about 0 0.2 and then this one we're going to extrude on the y at 0 0.2 and then this one we're going to extrude on the y as a minus 0 0.2 so that has given us the road width and then a curb and that is the simple part so let's just go in to duplicate so shift d to duplicate on the Y because it's going to move it to the next door. Um, what you can do actually is if you wanted to, if you don't have a texture, as I say, this is a simple road system. So we're going to do loop cuts. We'll do a nice round number of, oh, we've got 10 there. So that'll do and then so we'll select this one and this one and we will scale it on the X on the X um, this one and this one so again scale it on the X um, this one and this one scale and guess what? The X. Same again here. Uh, scale on the X. And last but not least, this one here. Scale on the X. Bring it on in. Um, what you can do is a loop cut. Control R. Do a double loop cut. And scale that on the Y. like so now you can hit number three for the faces like so um, okay so it's kind of messed up there and we need to what do we need to do let's just hit faces and that one that one that one that one and that one and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring them on back to say there and then we're going to chuck in another loop cut here let's scale those in on the X again and then take that one up there so then we'll hit number three and we'll just select these faces in the center here And then we're going to give it a texture, a material, one, two, two materials. Just do new and new. Um, this is just going to be the road, so we'll call it road. This one's going to be called lines, 
road markings. Um, we're just going to, yeah, we'll have wait and then we'll just assign it onto there. And then the road, we just need it to be a bit darker, like so. And then I think on that one and that one, we are going to have a new material. And this is going to be the curb. Okay. Um, maybe a bit that sort of color and a sign. So hopefully, yes, there we go. Um, and then what we can do is just select that, duplicate, shift D on the X, and then we should just be able to, if we just put that there a minute, let's just get that. And then if we have the magnet on the edges, and then we can just, there we go, align it like so. So that's like your little road. Um, also, we'll just delete that. What you need to do as well, just delete. Um, no, I'm gonna delete that one. Um, what did I think of the pavement? Um, so if we just go into edit, edit, and then select the edges, do alt, and select and then you want to extrude on the y by two so we're looking at two meter um pavement um extrude on the y two oops minus two <laughs> don't forget the minus um so that's your pavement and so what we can do here this one here is going to be kind of like a, um, what's it, what's it called, a, like a T-junction. So I'm just going to edit, extend Y2, and then this one, extend Y minus 2, and that'll give us our payments. Um, what you will also maybe need to do is control R, just one line in the center there. And then we're going to select these, just this half here, all the edges. Make sure you've got them all selected. We're going to go hopefully on that edge there. And then we're going to use the spinner tool. And then hope. Oh, what? Oh my God. It crashed. Of course it did. Of course it crashed. <laughs> Remember to save. <laughs> okay. I'm... I'll tell you what. I'm going to open up. <laughs> oh, can we recover? Last session. Recover last session. Damn it, that wasn't the last session. Okay, let's um, open. Recent, nothing in there. So I'm going to open this one up, which is one I made earlier. <laughs> so basically, um, you get to see here the end result <laughs> before, you, before you've made it. Um, but this is already uploaded to our Patreon page. It was uploaded yesterday or Wednesday. I think yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take this one. I'm just gonna duplicate, duplicate on the Y and just quickly show you where I didn't get to. So basically, we need to select, um, let's just focus on there and then we can just bring that in. So we can select the edges, which is that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and then we need the 3D cursor over there. And as I say, we're gonna use the spin tool and if it crashes again, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but there we go. And then what we do is we grab hold of this and then bring it round 90 degrees. 
and we need to do the same on this side you can see the curb is all on there as well sweet oh i didn't select that middle one either i need to select the center one god damn it this is probably where it's going to crash oh no blimey so there's 90 okay that's what you need and you need to do the same one two three four five six the 3d cursor on the corner there um select spin and again hit come round 90 degrees we'll leave it at 12 steps that's fine um so we've got our curve there so what do you do about all this bit in the middle well what we do is we select the vertices um one two three four fill and you do the same on all of these here uh, fill one two three four fill and so on and so forth until it's all completely done as i say this is a basic road system um uh, fill and then once we get to the end there we can just take it out of edit mode and then you can actually see what it looks like of course you can go into as much detail as you like with the materials uh, this was a-okay for what i needed it for um, and it lets you know you know when you if you I mean, I, I imported it into um, Unreal Engine. Uh, it's quite, it's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill that. Yes, okay. And there we have our little road. And then what you can do if you want is, what did I do? I think I made a little yeah if you don't want to do like a crossroads um then what i done was made a half road so you can just like take one of these just you know you've got your line down the center there just select all the just select all the faces that you want oh, i want to go that way there we go that way that way so we're just doing alt and then shift alt okay keep just keep your fingers on the shift and the alt button try and select the right ones which i'm not doing very well <laughs> making quite a hash out of it um and then you just do um shift d shift d on the x and then you got half a road okay and then you can just um uh you'll need to p um let's come out of there p selection come out of edit just select that one object set origin to geometry um, just bring it down there rotate z90 rotate z180 and then you can just bring it on in. If you turn on snapping for the edges, and then you can just enlarge it to fit um, like so. You obviously need to line up a little bit better than that. But yeah, there we go. That's our road system. So you can, you've, you've got your straights, you've got curved bits. You, you know, you got your T junction. Um, yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you like. And there you go. There's your, there's your road. And then you can just shift D on the Y. And it in place um, and you can pretty much do whatever I mean the texture is just um, standard colors 
Um, so all I've got in is like the road, which is like a dark grey. Road markings is a white, and the curb is like a, an off-white. Um, but as I say, you can go into as much detail as you like on the material. Um, but for me, this was good enough. Anyway, um, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe and the notification bell. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.